Number 15. British Aerospace BAE 146 200, 487 miles per hour. That's Mach 0.63. Manufactured in the United Kingdom by BAE Systems, the British Aerospace BAE 146 200 is an older model that can still reach speeds of up to 487 miles per hour. That's 783 kilometers per hour. Powered by four turbofan Honeywell ALF 502 R5 engines. Number 14. BAC 111 Series 500, 526 miles per hour. That's Mach 0.685. BAC 111 Series 500 was manufactured in the United Kingdom to serve the purpose of a short range airliner. The aircraft is powered by two Rolls Royce Spey 512 DW turbofans, enabling it to reach the top speed of 526 miles per hour or 846 kilometers per hour. Number 13, Tupolev TU204, 527 miles per hour, Mach 0 0.686. Developed in Russia, the Tupolev TU204 is a mid range airliner and the first to fly with Western engines. Powered by two Aviad Vigatel PS90A turbofans, it can hit speeds up to 527 miles per hour. That's 848 kilometers per hour. Currently, 69 of these planes are in service around the world, servicing customers in many different areas. Number 12. Bombardier CRJ-1000, 541 miles per hour, Mach 0.7. The Bombardier CRJ-1000 is a regional airliner based in Canada, which is enabled by two General Electric GE CF-34 HC-51A engines, powering up the aircraft. The CRJ-1000 only needs 2,212 meters for takeoff and just 1,750 meters for landing. Number 11. McConnell Douglas DC-873, 551 miles per hour. Mach 0.71. Beginning in 1965, the McConnell Douglas DC-873 was a successful stretch of airliners created for long range and medium capacity. The DC-873 was equipped with CFM-56-2 high bypass turbofans with new nacelles and pylons built by Grumman Aerospace. Number 10. Ilyushin IL-62M. 571 miles per hour, Mach 0.74. The Ilyushin IL was developed in Russia and designed to be a medium to long range and medium capacity airliner. The IL 62M was equipped with four Soviev D 30 KU engines and a thin fuel tank. Number 9, Airbus A330 200, 575 miles per hour, Mach 0.75. The Airbus comes from Europe and is a long-range, wide-body airliner. The A330-200 is a shortened, longer-range variant of the A330, which entered service in 1998 with Korean Air. The 200 is offered with three engine types, the General Electric CF680E, Pratt & Whitney PW4000, or Rolls-Royce Trent 700. Number 8. Boeing 747 100, 583 miles per hour, Mach 0.76. First developed in the United States, the Boeing 747 100 was massively successful and revolutionized air transport. Introduced by Pan Am in 1970, the 100 was equipped with Pratt and Whitney JT 9D3A engines. Number 7. Hawker Sidley HS-121 Trident II, 605 miles per hour, Mach 0.78. The British aircraft, the Hawker Sidley Trident, revolutionized intercity travel and was powered by the Rolls-Royce Spey. The aircraft was retired in 1965 and was the first T-tail rear-engined three-engine airliner to be designed. Number 6. Convair 880, 615 miles per hour, Mach 0.8. Started by General Dynamics, Convair 880 and the other models related to it were all deemed a failure despite being considered the fastest airliner of its time. 
The 880 was given power by General Electric CJ8053 turbojets. Did you know only 65 Convair 880s were ever produced during its production from 1959 to 1962? Number 5. Boeing 777. 644 miles per hour. Mach 0.84. The Boeing 777 is a line of airliners considered some of the best airliners in the world today and they're powered by the world's most powerful engines. In fact, it's the world's largest twin jet and the 200 ER version is powered by Pratt and Whitney PW 4000 engine. Also, you might find it interesting to know that the 777 is the first commercial aircraft to be designed entirely with computer aided design. Number 3. We have two planes tied for third, which is why we skipped number four. And the first one is the Airbus A380, 652 miles per hour, or Mach 0.85. Well, who doesn't know the very popular and mighty Airbus A380? Originating in Europe, the Airbus A380 is a high-capacity, long-range airliner with a twin deck and is considered the world's largest airliner. And the other one at number three is the Boeing 787, 652 miles per hour, Mach 0.85. Boeing announced the 787 Dreamliner in 2003. The aircraft uses two engines and is compatible to be fitted with either Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 or General Electric Gen X engines and uses all electrical bleedless systems. Number 2. Boeing 747-400, 656 miles per hour. Mach 0.855. In second, it's the Boeing 747 400, popular with British Airways and the best selling model of the 747 family. It's a wide bodied, four engine airliner, popular as a long haul aircraft. The 747 400 can fly non stop for up to 7,670 nautical miles. The new engines, Pratt and Whitney PW 4056, General Electric CF680 C2B1F and Rolls-Royce RB211 524GH power the 747-400. Number 1. Boeing 747-8I 659 miles per hour. Mach 0.86. We believe most of you probably know this one. If you don't, then it's the huge airliner which is undoubtedly the fastest passenger plane in the world right now. The Boeing 747-8 is the longest passenger aircraft in the world. The Boeing 747-8i, otherwise known as the 747-8 Intercontinental, is also the same airliner used for Air Force One. Powered by General Electric Gen X 2B67 engines, 747-8i can hit a top speed of 659 miles per hour. That's 1,060 kilometers per hour. So those were the fastest passenger planes. Don't forget to check out our other videos, and if you're new here, then subscribe to Factolic. Until then, have a good day, and stay tuned for the next one.